Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video, we're going to take a look to horizontal asymptotes for a rational function. So, one more time, a rational function are nothing else than a quotient between two polynomial functions. And how do we find this horizontal asymptote? We have three cases. First case, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Then what is that? That happens when the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x. So if you do not remember, the degree of a polynomial, for example, this one is nothing else than this degree, right? This is degree 2. Uh, what about this one? Right? For this one, the degree of this polynomial is 3. So if the degree of the uh, denominator is larger than the degree of the numerator, then the asymptote is y equals 0. And what about the second case? Uh, this one, you see, you have a quotient y equals a over b, where a and b are the leading coefficient of b of x and q of x. So let's uh, look a little bit. So if you have 3x cubed plus 4x minus 10, for example, over 5x cubed plus 10x squared minus 7x plus 100. These are the leading coefficient, a and b. So the asymptote is going to be 3 over 5. We're going to see more examples, for example. Uh, but again, that works when the degrees are the same. In this case, we're 3. And we have case 3, no vertical asymptote, when the degree of p of x is greater than the degree of q of x. So let's see. Oh, we're looking here and on number 3, 13, the S comes and 14 to find the horizontal asymptote yeah, of uh, this one. And we're looking here and this is 2x. This is 2x, so the degree is 1. And this one is x squared minus 1. This is degree 2. Since the denominator has degree 2 and the uh, numerator degree 1, y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. What about number 14? Pause it and look at. If you end up with y equals 0 as a horizontal asymptote, then you did a wonderful job. Yes, the degree of the denominator is 2, the degree of numerator 1 larger than uh, the degree of the denominator larger than the degree of the numerator, so y equals 0. <coughs> what about number 15? The degree of this guy is degree 2. And this one also, degree 2. So now we go to that case where with the horizontal asymptote is the uh, quotient, the ratio, if you want to call it, of the leading coefficients. In this case, the leading coefficient for the first polynomial for the numerator is 1. For the second polynomial, the denominator is 1 also. So 1 over 1. So we end up with y equals 1. That this is the one, the, this is the horizontal asymptote for number 15. Pause this little clip and try 16. If you end up with a horizontal asymptote that has the equation y equals 7 over 2, then you did a wonderful job. So that was the case 2 when the degrees were the same. And I will go to the case 3 if you remember. You see here degree 4. We see here degree 3. 
in this case there is no horizontal asymptote we are seeing a other video clip in this case we have something that is called a oblique asymptote or a slanted asymptote because the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator okay but so far no horizontal asymptote what about number 18 In this case also if you said no horizontal so it's wonderful and this one doesn't even have an oblique or a slanted asymptote because the degree of the numerator is 3 and the degree of the denominator is 1 it's not just one degree larger it's two degree larger if you enjoy this video don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and c square for more math video clips thank you